Welcome back. While Obama won big last night, the one group he did not do well with once again was white women. In North Carolina, Obama received only 33 percent of those voters, while Clinton took 65 percent. Many of those women said they wouldn't vote for Obama if he's the Democratic nominee. Really? Do they know what John McCain was saying on the campaign trail while they were at the polls? Federal judges today issue rulings and opinions on policy questions that should be decided democratically. Assured of lifetime tenures, these judges show little regard for the authority of the President, the Congress, and the states. They display even less interest in the will of the people. And the only remedy available to any of us is to find, nominate, and confirm better judges. Translation, judges who would overturn Roe versus Wade. Now, isn't that going to be an issue that many of those Hillary voting women will have a real problem with? Won't the no choice issue become a major factor in the general election? And if so, can't this kind of McCain proclamation give Obama an opportunity to win over those women? Here now, Nancy Keenan, president of the NARAL Pro-Choice America, and back with us is Newsweek's Jonathan Alter. All right, Nancy, is that going to do it? They're going to come flocking to Obama when they realize that that's McCain's position? I think absolutely they will, and it's because uh, he is neither a moderate nor a maverick, and I think our job is to make sure that uh, women and all voters across the country understand how uh, John McCain is so anti-choice, and uh, and I think women will come back and come back and vote for uh, whoever is the Democratic nominee. Jonathan, Jonathan, is this going to be the sort of issue that will make or break a voter's choice? Uh, for some women, it is, um, and and I agree that a lot of women will uh, come back home to the Democratic Party. They voted with the Democrats in the past. There's been a huge gender gap for many years, and I have every reason to expect that it would continue this year uh, when Democrats make it clear through their advertising um, that uh, if you elect John McCain, you're, you're going to get, you know, uh, uh, anti-abortion anti justices on right. the Supreme Court, and you might end up having to go have, get a back alley abortion in the, in well, the years ahead. Nancy, he mm -hmm. cited Alito and Roberts mm -hmm. as justices mm -hmm. that, that he respects and likes, and I'm sure he likes Scalia, and I'm sure he likes Thomas yeah. as well. If, if the court ends up with two more, let's say, of those justices, that's it. It is. That's it. it. Is absolutely. Roe v. Wade is done. That's right. And this is the code. When he's talking to his base, he basically is telling them, I will have a litmus test. And that litmus test for John McCain is to have justices that would overturn Roe v. Wade. Uh, when we talk about the women as well, let me speak to there's another group here. Pro-choice, independent, and Republican women will vote for the pro-choice candidate once they are very clear on how anti-choice John McCain is. But, but well, that's, John, that, that, I don't, that I don't agree with, actually. Be, otherwise, we would have had Democratic presidents in the last several cycles. Uh, a lot of those pro-choice independents but, but will the vote for the Republican now, as they have Jonathan, in the past. We're at a different but, time now. We're at the now at the point where, in the past, I remember covering two, yeah, I used to say, you know what, Roe versus Wade is still a number of justices away from getting overturned. It's not there anymore. More. It's it's one or at the at the very most two away from getting overturned. That's what makes this different. Yeah, well, but I'm not sure they're going to get the urgency that you uh, convey uh, in that comment out there in the mm -hmm. campaign. That's that's not a sure thing. But what will happen is when McCain he tried to give this speech when there was a lot of news on the Democratic side to kind of sneak it in to reassure his yeah. his Republican base. That won't play in today's transparent political culture. Well, he will be questioned about that. He will he will get squeezed on this. If he tries to go away from his base, he'll get hammered by them, and he could get sandwiched on this issue in a way that's harmful to his campaign. Yeah, Jonathan, let's be clear. I think that yeah. when uh, George Bush was running, people thought that Laura Bush was pro-choice and Barbara Bush was pro-choice, so they didn't have to worry about George W. Bush. And yeah. in addition, he never blatantly called for overturning Roe versus Wade. John McCain has, and I think that's something for pro-choice Republican and independent women. They are going to see very clearly I think that, uh, that they would vote for the pro-choice candidate. You know, I'm not so sure Cindy McCain isn't uh, pro-choice. I was on Let's the McCain bus. About 
in 2000, and he, he, McCain made it clear that in his heart, he's pro-choice and is just doing this for pandering reasons. Uh, that was very, very clear. <laughs> well, but well, he's doing a darn good job of pandering yeah. if that's what he's doing, because he is he is scaring the dickens out of those of us who want more moderate justices uh, from both sides and don't want the extremes. Here's Cindy McCain. Uh, this is a, a slightly different show on the issue of negative campaigning. She just did an interview with Ann Curry from the Today Show, and here's what she said. I believe we're going to see a great debate, which, which the American public deserves, more importantly. Uh, none of this negative stuff, though, you won't see it come out of our side at all. Because None of the negative stuff will come out of your side. My husband is absolutely opposed to any negative campaigning at all. You're saying that the kind of campaigning we've seen between the Democrats will not happen in the general election, no matter who's picked. There's no room for it. Okay, Jonathan, enough enough wiggle room there. <laughs> well, obviously there will be uh, you know some negative campaigning, but I also think that Cindy McCain is on to something. That it's very interesting that uh, the presumptive nominees in both parties are the ones who took the highest road in the primaries, and I think both of them would mm. like to run a more high-toned campaign. They think it would be good yeah. for the country and good for them. They can't control the independent expenditures, the so-called 527s, yeah. but I think right. within their right. own campaigns, they will, it will be, well, uh, amazingly, it will be cleaner than we've seen in a while, I think. And, and I would like to do a show every night just on which circuit court just judges are being appointed and uh, the debates that are going on <laughs> in the Senate over them. Nancy Keenan and Jonathan Alter, thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs>